Final Fantasy Light Return is on the PS3 and on the Xbox 360. You could download the demo today. So make sure you guys check that out because this game is absolutely amazing. I mean, from combat to the job changes, it's just badass. However, you know, you see, Final Fantasy do got this one thing, like with two, because two had like a better fight system than one. However, the story was just non-existent. So I hope Lightning Return story is not, I mean, it's not non-existent. You see, unlike most gamers, sure, combat is amazing to me. Cause you know, I play Tales games over any RPG due to the real, uh, you know, the real untying combat. I am a, I am a huge Tale fan. Those are the games that I love to play. My, you know, my favorite RPG series. However, Lightning Return, well, Lightning, not Lightning, but Final Fantasy Thirteen in general, it was just so fucking boring to me. Meaning. You just pick, you just pick what you want to do, then play like a movie and then they attack. Thus making the, the gameplay experience horrible. And then, not to mention, with a bad gameplay uh, experience, there were also bad, um, give me a second. Chris, cut that down, boy. But anyway, despite the bad gameplay experience, it was a total horrible story. Contradictory cool story, a story that actually makes you just sit there and wonder why are these people so stupid? I mean, in order to stop the main villain for doing his plan, all they had to do was just do nothing instead of fighting him. He said, You fight me, Cocoon or Gant, well, Grandpa, I forgot which one it was, would crawl and crush everybody. So if y'all don't even fight him, nothing will happen. So in order to beat the villain, you just only had to do is not do anything instead of being on and let him do what he wanted to do. And the story was just just ridiculous in the first 13. Second one, I just now start playing it, even though I had it forever. You see, one of my PS3s broke. I was like a victim of that um, yellow light of death. Then it made me cry. Cause I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not playing video games no more. There's no way I'm buying a new uh, PlayStation. Bought one like six days later. I couldn't take it no more. And uh, but anyway. Yeah, I had this new one for like a whole year and nothing happened, so it looked like the slim actually worked better than the fat. But anyway, Light Return, like, let's get back to that. The action is just on point. Like, you can move her around the um, field. You could, you could fridge between concert. Each concert comes with its own HP and its own variation of attacks and skills and, and you know, and abilities that she can use to get the balance of the battle. And you got your A P, you got your A B um, attacks. You can just shoot magic. Then you can slash people. You can do all types of stuff with it. I mean, it just feels so much better than the other Final Fantasy. It was just to, to the point where it was like good enough to actually make me want to buy this. At first, I said, you know, I could play in the first Final Fantasy 13. I don't care. The second one, uh, I, I'm trying to stomach and get through it. We were, like I said, my place isn't broke. And I was playing that the first time and I lost all my data. I wasn't know that far in the game, so I had to start over with this one. And um I just started over. Yeah, as you see when my data my I lost my data, I was like, you know, time for get for, for me to get PlayStation Plus. To go back in two thousand and twelve when this happened though while my PlayStation broke. But anyway, and I had that damn Final Fantasy since it came out. I think it came out January the thirty first, two thousand and twelve. That's when I got it. I think one of my female friends bought it for me. And then I didn't play it because I had Soul Calibur 5 at the same time because they both came out simultaneously. But anyway. Yeah, so I'm going to try to break through um, 13 too. Well, before Light of Return come out because Light of Return, it was just so amazing. But it still might be flawed due to the fact that you only play with Lightning. And that might piss off a few people like Chris that want to play with Hope and anybody else. Look like Snow might be a bad guy. That's pretty interesting. I don't like Snow. He one of them dumbass hero guys. Ha ha! I'm hero because heroes never die. I can't stand guys like that. So just because I could just bash his head in through this game like I Spoonie did, it's just amazing. I just want to bash his goddamn head in. So I finally get the opportunity to bash his head in. And um, I want to see like basically where you could upgrade your own job, see how much stuff you could actually learn. And what other very like like other modes you get? I think you can get up to ten modes. They said plus eleven. You get that that DLC when you pre-order. Get that the cloud outfit with a uniform on and his um, big ass bustle sword. 
So that'd be pretty epic. You know, it's kind of cross dressing, but hey, girls get away with dressed like boys for some reason. But um, yeah, if you haven't tried it, try it. You're gonna be amazed by it. And for those who said fuck Final Fantasy 13, you should invest in this one. Cause like I said, it was my first and I really reviewed. This is the Final Fantasy that we still got before. We still got 13 one just like this, with every character able to move like this in battle, move around, do their own various attacks. And a better storyline. It'd be very fucking badass. They actually did the first one like this. They made the first one the only Final Fantasy 13. But tell what you guys think. There's not really a review. Because I can't review the game right now due to the fact that I only played the demo. But hell but this is uh, like the first impression of the game. And due to what I'll play, I will blown away. It's just like Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy 13 had sex and made a baby. This is how badass it is. But like I said, tell you guys, stay make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. I'm here, peace.